in the book, he's got his mind to talk to. You know, that's, I mean, that's the, always in terms of adapting a novel. If the guy's in the room alone, it's tough. You know, if he's got someone to talk to, we can move ahead a little bit, you know. Uh, the same way with the whole language thing, in terms of how Kundal learned to speak English and when Kundal learned to speak English, we just had to take a license with that. Uh, we would have been there, because I think in Alex's book, it was three or four years, something like that, before he got it all uh, into the language. So, was there any discussion of having it in some sort of African language for that sequence? No. no. Had to be in English. It had to be in English. Uh, I, and my guess is that would have been that would have been David, who's done a lot of documentaries, and he was. Uh, David has a, a, a real a lot of blue collar stuff, you know. And by, by that I mean just no nonsense, straight ahead, cut to the chase. At one point, um, somebody wanted to had a title, you know, uh, September seventh you know, blah, 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 under the ship, and then you cut to, let's say, the African coast, and say, you say, September 19th, blah, 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 and David would say, no, no. They don't remember September 7th. That was five minutes ago. They don't remember that. When you come up on that next title, it's 10 days later. That the, and I, he went, yeah, of course, you know, we get it. Uh, and that, and my guess is uh, David would have said, no, not subtitles, not early in this piece, no way. Uh, he was a very pragmatic man and, and always very helpful. There's a very famous sequence where he holds up uh, Kunta and gives him the name. Can you describe that sequence and, and uh, what you thought of uh, watching it? Where he holds up Kunta. And I, I'm There's a star-filled sky and he's named. Oh, him. oh, 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 oh. That, that's, uh, according to Alex, uh, pure African folklore. I wish I'd been bright enough to think of that. Uh, and the, the shot itself uh, is uh, pure David Green. You know, that's uh, David Green and his cinematographer. Uh, but that, that sequence of Behold the Only Thing Greater Than Yourself, uh, according to Alex, that's Gambian folklore and, and tradition. And uh, I was there to take notes and stay out of the way. <laughs>